Hey guys, it's Josh from Apt at CES 2015. This is the preview to the big event, and Paul's going to show us from Stern Pinball a new machine with new technology. Paul, how are you doing? I'm very good. How are you doing today? Oh, we're having fun. It's a little busy. You guys are having fun here? Absolutely. You can barely move in here. It's crowded. <laughs> it's great. It's a great party. <laughs> so what's what's going on? Pinball's been around forever. What's new and exciting about it? Pinball's been around forever. It's a classic gaming platform, and we've been in business for almost 30 years now, building games in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, the games, the core game hasn't changed. It's two, still two flippers and a ball, but now we've added a lot of new tech technology into the games to bring pinball into the next generation of gamers that are starting to rediscover the platform. So we're really excited about that. So there's some kind of new operating system involved? Absolutely. Yeah, it's not only an operating system, it's a whole platform of electronics and software that we've been developing for the last few years to make pinball more reliable, uh, more features in the games, easier to troubleshoot and service, and just overall make it a better game. Okay, so. and, and how does this board change? Like, what's the yeah. difference between this and like, uh, a, yeah. a game from 20 or 10 years exactly. ago. So yeah, your traditional pinball machine used to have one, a couple of big boards that control everything through one big fat wire harness, and it was just a lot of wires, there's wires going everywhere. If something went wrong on that one board, the whole game goes down. And it's just, uh, it, it was what made sense back in the 90s, but now the technology has come along a very long way with embedded networks and microcontrollers and the, the software has come a long way. We're taking advantage of all these technologies to make a more distributed platform now. So now the games are similar to cars, where there's actually multiple computers in the game that communicate with each other to control and let the players play the game. The end result is you get less wiring, you get more reliable modules that are easier to change and fix out if something does go wrong in the field. After after all, pinball is still a mechanical device, and all mechanical things do eventually break. But we've been trying to make pinball more reliable, because in the 90s, that was a common complaint about pinball, is that it wasn't reliable. So, the modern games, as you can see here, they're all LEDs now. We got rid of the incandescent lamps that used to be in games that would burn out all the time. Um, we're using modern silicon, modern transistors, modern con protection circuits to prevent uh, common mistakes that technicians would make. <laughs> they would drop cores and screwdrivers and hot dog wrappers, who knows, and short out things and break the games, and then they don't make money anymore. So. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, our new platform adds, incorporates all these features, and that was our design goals when we designed this. Now, does that apply to what model is moving forward, or have you already done this before in other models before the WrestleMania that you're launching? So, yeah, so this is uh, WWE WrestleMania, which is actually launching tomorrow, uh, Monday, and all of our future games are going to have this technology in there. Uh, actually, a dirty little secret, we've been testing pieces of the technology in our previous games. We haven't really told people about that, so <laughs> you're actually the first to know about that. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we've been testing bits and pieces of technology over the last couple of titles, but now we've pulled the whole system together in this WWE here, and it's going to be the first game that has the entire system top to bottom in there. So. That's awesome. And if I want this in my house, when can I have it available? Absolutely. So uh, WWE, we're going to start building those. Actually, we've been building them. They're going to start shipping out in the next couple of weeks, so you can get them through authorized Stern distributors uh, pretty soon here. All right. Well, thanks a lot, neighbor, because we're in the Chicago area as well. All right. Well, good to see you. <laughs> Enjoy Chicago the rest Andrew. of the show. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we'll have more CES 2015 coverage. You'll find it at apt.com or visit our blog or YouTube channel.